Welcome to the Oracle Marketing Cloud Tips and Tricks for today. Today's session is very much about LinkedIn and understanding how we can use the cloud component from uh, Eloqua in order to get information into uh, your Eloqua campaign and into your contact database. There are a number of moving parts in relation to this particular exercise, and as you can see here on the screen, we've outlined what they are. So you've got the Eloqua form, to start with, you've then got the profile data that you need to or you want to source from LinkedIn. And then we need to look at the actual cloud connector or cloud content and how we get that information in. So today's session will be broken down. It's a little bit longer than seven or five minutes. I apologize. But uh, hopefully you'll find this information of value. Cheers. On the registration page that you can see here, we have the Eloqua form positioned like so. We've got a um, uh, a non-standard icon we've added for the registration button but for today's topic what we've got here is the sign-in with LinkedIn and also the sign-in with Twitter plugins. Now each of these uh, need to be configured and you do that through the cloud com components. So you access from the left hand side the cloud component option and uh, if you I think type in sign on there you go you've got both the Twitter and LinkedIn sign-in options so you simply drag those over onto the relevant page. I've already done that, so let's have a quick look at sign in with LinkedIn. So you need to access your cloud components. Uh, if it's the first time you've done this, you will need to create yourself as a user. But once you've done that, uh, you'll come straight in. Most of the information effectively defaults, as you can see here. But the area that you need to focus on down the bottom here is you first of all need to advise that it is an eligible form and then you need to find your relevant form. So all the forms that you've got in play uh, will be listed here. And if you've got a good naming convention in place, it will make it easier uh, to find that particular form. But it's the map field section that you need to pay some careful attention to. Um, you can see here at the top, we have some standard fields. These are just standard uh, Eloqua fields. But the rest of these ones that you see down here are actual LinkedIn fields. So if you look uh, below, there's this drop down menu. These are all the fields that uh, LinkedIn will provide you uh, with data based on the person who's registering. Now I've elected not to bring all of them across, uh, just the ones that you can see listed above. And so all of this information needs to be on your Eloqua form effectively as a hidden field. So as the person registers, uh, that information will be moved into the hidden field and then if you've got that mapped to your Eloqua contact, will be mapped across to the Eloqua contact. So let's have a look at a form or actually the specific form. So this is the specific form that I'm using for the meetup. Now you'll remember if we go back quickly and have a look at the actual form itself on the landing page, it's simply email address, first name, last name, and job category. But if we have a look at the form here, there are a whole bunch of other particular forms. Now what I've done is I've tagged them or named them LI for LinkedIn, just so I'm very clear as to where that information is coming from. Um, I've also popped on another hidden field called Lead Source Original. And what I do is I pop in a code that represents this particular event. So down the track, I can uh, look at that information and, and segment people by it. Now, let's have a look at the processing steps. What you need to do is add a processing step called Update Contacts with Form Data. So it's one thing to have the form there and capture that data, but if you actually want to do something with that data, you actually need to map it to the target field which sits on the Eloqua contact. So what I've done here, just to make my life very simple, I've ma made or created fields within Eloqua on the contact, and I've named them exactly the same as the source field, so there's just no confusion for me in relation to that process. And you can see how they, uh, they sit there like that. Okay, so that's easy enough. The way you do that, by the way, I should say, is you just double click on the target field. If that's blank, uh, this will pop up. You simply type in the field that you want to map it to, and off you go. Now, the update type, typically you want to leave it as default. Now, that's driven by how you've created the fields themselves. So if we go to the setup menu and go down to database and then across to fields and views, this is where you'll need to create new contact fields that represent the data that's coming across from LinkedIn. So if I have a look here, these are all the various contact fields. So as I said, what I did is I started off with LI, LinkedIn, and so I can see the relevant fields there. 
And what I've done as well is I've created, uh, I've got my default general view, but I've also created a social data from sign on view, which just gives me a summary view of what's going on. And so you can see those particular fields there. Now, if I go to contacts and I'll show you a contact so you can actually see what some of this data looks like, um, I'll show you what that looks like. So we'll look for Derek. Here I am. And uh, if I go to field details, that's the general view, but if I look now at the view I created called social data from sign on, this just gives a little bit more of a summary view. So there's a few different things here. Um, just be aware, um, you'll see here my job title is Twitter, that's from testing <laughs> that I was doing earlier today. Now Twitter, when Twitter brings across information, this today's session is focused on LinkedIn, but just as an FYI, the Twitter for some reason gives you the first person's first name and last name in a single field. So I need to talk with my tech team to understand how we can potentially split that out. But in the meantime, I'll have to manually check that particular information to make sure I get that tidied up. So I may do that while I'm here right now. I'll correct that. Um, that's the LinkedIn ID. There seems to be some confusion over what value that information is. But uh, as I find out, I'll share that with you. Um, now from LinkedIn, the date of birth comes across as the month and the day. So in this case, my birthday is May 17th. Uh, LinkedIn number of contacts, it only shows you what's publicly available. And so once you get to more than 500, it kind of stops. It just says 500 plus. Um, the LinkedIn current position start date, so that's June 2013. There's a URL here for the person's picture. And then you'll see a little bit of Twitter data here as well. Number of followers, uh, the Twitter handle, and also the Twitter use ID. So they're two different things. The Twitter handle is the screen name. Um, and the Twitter user ID is a numerical number, as you can see there. There's something else for you to be aware of, and I would imagine most of you would probably do the same thing here, that on most pages you probably have a sign-in with LinkedIn and a sign-in with Twitter. Now, the thing is, when you get to a particular form, uh, this is the form that is currently sitting on the landing page and is exposed, where you, for instance, want to capture, say here, the Twitter login company name, and up here I've also got the LinkedIn company name. When it comes to processing, and you've got all those fields there, that you can only have one target field attached to a source field. So, for instance, in my database, we have uh, the company name as uh, an Eloqua field name, but I can't associate that in one form processing uh, with two organizations. So what I was able to do was create a second form. And if I go to forms and I go to the Twitter registration form. So I basically did a save as of the original form. And this one now just simply has the Twitter information. Now you might say, well, hang on a minute, you don't have that form actually on the page. That's fine. When you double click on the sign in with Twitter, you simply reference that particular form. With the connection so remember it's just the same as it was with the linkedin one eloqua form and so here what i'm doing is attaching that process with this particular form and here you'll see again the map fields and here you'll see what's able to come across now you'll notice here under name uh, it's not first name and last name it's just simply name so that's where derek bell comes in and so what i'm doing is i'm i'm mapping that to my eloqua first name field Look, in a worst case scenario, it just simply means that your emails will be addressed to Dear Derek Bell versus Dear Derek, uh, which is not the end of the world, um, but you can certainly go through and tidy that up as you need to manually.